Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So let's talk about Barbara Streisand and James Brolin, her husband. And um, I'm hearing there will be rules. <clears throat> kind of like the emperor. She's the emperor in the, in the marriage. But it works because they've been married for quite some time. But she makes the rules. So we're going to use the uh, typical, traditional, humble seer, me, Rhonda, um, the, the layout for, okay, so we've got the overall as uh, the overall. So the traditional is overall relationship, how she views him and how he views her. Okay. So we only need two more cards because this one eagerly wanted to come out. It'd be interesting to see what that one is. Okay. This is how she views him and how he views her. All right. The overall, oh my God, did I? Okay, so the overall is the emperor and the emperor is about rules. Did you see that? And I just said that, wow, could the cards work out any better? So the emperor is about stable future. They have rules, rise to power. So this relationship is ruled by Barbara Streisand. She is the emperor in this marriage, okay? That's the overall. There are rules. There's a foundation. You're not going to get around the rules. There could be written rules that are placed on the refrigerator. And there could be rules written literally in every room of the house. It's rules, rules, rules. Okay. Now she views him, Char her husband, um, uh, Char whatever, Brolin. Um, I can't even think of his first name. I think, uh, James, James Rowland. She views him as the moon. And that is somebody that, well, they have some deception. They're secretive. There's infidelity. Okay. When I highlight these words, well, you know, there you go. So she views him and always has viewed him as the moon. But it doesn't matter. She's happy to have him because she thinks that he's the most handsome person in the world. And that's how you should view your significant other. Nothing wrong with that. She, in a sense, worships him. But she's still the emperor. Okay? But he's the moon. He steps in. And there's a lot of mystery shrouded around him. But I'm hearing that she likes that mystery. And he may disappear for a day or so, I'm hearing. Okay. And he views her as the eight of cups. Walking away, abandonment, lack of importance or uh, significance being overestimated. Now you see these two up here? They fight a lot. But then they come out and they're smiling. And as, as far as the instigator, I see Barbara being an instigator of a lot of fighting. Well, you know, you didn't do this, Mr. Brolin. You didn't do that. You know, and he's just really got his defenses up. But at the same time, you know, because this is how he views her as abandonment. So if he's viewing her as somebody who abandons, well... She's got some things to work on herself because what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing is that she walks away from him a lot. She leaves him out there in the lurch. She kind of treats him like a stepchild, but she wields a mighty sword over him and he's not going anywhere. They've, they've settled into their routine and it is in some ways comfortable. It's not the best because the emperor again is saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. And he is in, as of late, he's kind of bucking those rules. He's like, you know what? I'm doing whatever the hell I wanna do. I was doing whatever I wanted undercover, which is why you saw me as the moon. And you knew that I wasn't necessarily abiding by all of your rules. Like a rule could be, don't look at other women. Well, that's not even possible. That's just like, you you know, I could be looking at you because you're asking me a question. 
You cannot control a person in that way. The rules are unrealistic and they're unfair. And I wasn't abiding by many of them anyway, only when in front of you, which I was trying to not be with you as much as possible. Okay, well, that's a bumpy kind of marriage. Um, it's, it's about money though, is what I'm hearing. It's about money and the comforts uh, that the money brings. And that money would be Barbara's. But Barbara is, is going to always attract what she projects is what I'm hearing. And so she got what, well, she has what she deserves is what I'm hearing, which is interesting. She has what she deserves in a man. And, and she has what she deserves in a man and that man being um, her husband, James Brolin. So I'm gonna leave it there, very interesting read. Um, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave that comment below and tell me what you think. And if you enjoy what I do, consider buying me a coffee. Until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.